Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. I'm your host, Scott Davenport, and it's my pleasure to be here once again, Coach Chris Robinson. Now, Coach, we've got a big week coming up this week. Y'all start the first uh, of hopefully many uh, playoff right. games this year. Uh, why don't you tell the folks who, who, it's, who it's up against or who y'all are playing, what you expect to see, you know, uh, this week from your opponent? Well, today, which is Tuesday, April 25th, <laughs> uh, we're going to play uh, Brooks County, 6.30 tonight. We get to host. We're Big excited city about equipment. It. That's right. They got that long drive. Oh, stomping grounds. Oh, yeah, really? Valdosta State, yeah. Okay. So we're starting it a little bit later because they've got some mm. testing going on, so they can't leave real early. So we're going to play at 6.30 tonight. Uh, I really don't have a lot on them. Uh, I feel comfortable enough to, if the girls will play like they're capable of doing, we'll be all right. Um, I kind of liked how we finished up this year. Uh, mm -hmm. We had two good matches against uh, Dodge and Screven County, and then we played a good half against West Lawrence at the mm -hmm. end of the year. But, um, you know, I like the way we're going in the playoffs. I'm kind of excited. You know, when we started the year, we went to the Lamar County Tournament, and I felt like I saw a different team. They were excited, you know, going up against Harris County and Central mm -hmm. Carrollton and Northside Warner Robins, the bigger schools. There was a little bit more focus, a little bit more sense of urgency in the girls. Well, we get in region play, and you've played these teams several times, and you've seen them, and there was some – Almost too like, much familiarity. Right. And you just, a little yeah. lackadaisical. And mm -hmm. so I'm excited to see how we come out tonight. You know, we've got a, a great opportunity. And, uh, you know, I just take one at a time. And if we're fortunate enough to get through tonight, we'll play next Tuesday again at home, either against Callaway or Rockmark. Mm -hmm. They'll come here. And, uh, you know, that's all you can ask in any kind of season is win your region and get in the state tournament. Right. And we've done those two things, and now I tell the girls all the time, there's three parts of soccer season, but there's really three parts of every season. There's preseason, there's mm -hmm. region play, and then there's postseason. And we did what we needed to to get mm -hmm. in preseason to get ready for region play. We won all our region games, so we did what we needed to there. And now we're starting in postseason. And, you know, the way I feel about it, this is what, this kind of what make this is what defines you as a team mm -hmm. is when you get to the playoffs, what you do. Um, the last two years we got beat in the second round. Three years ago we got beat in the quarterfinals. You know, I'm gonna. The elephant in the room is GAC, Westland, Pace. All those private schools have moved on. Mm -hmm. So you know, to see what we can do this year, I'm excited. Uh, I think the girls are excited. I think what I like is the expectations, not just of the girls, but you know, people talking to me in the hallway, the expectations of them. So these girls have done a good job of not just changing their mindsets, but changing other people's mindsets where, uh, where we're going to be. You know, whatever rankings in the state, whatever you know, we were number two for most of the year, whatever that means. And you know, the girls have done a good job. They've put the East Lawrence girls soccer team on the state map. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's all what they've done. I told them earlier today we had an FCA meeting, and I was talking about pride, and I said, you know, I hadn't scored a goal this year. I hadn't stopped any shots. You know, it's all those girls making those, mm -hmm. doing those things. And so I'm really proud of them, and I'm excited to see what they do. And, you know, no matter what, 15-2-1, undefeated in region, ranked in the top ten of the state, that's a lot to be proud of. And, they're excited, and, I, and I, they're going to be excited today. And all we got to come out and do what we need to do, and we'll be all right. Right, and you know, and I'm sure, you know, that with them, uh, they don't want it to end today. <laughs> you right. know, it, it's not like okay, well, we we won region four years in a row. That's great. Right. They they want, and there seems to be in talking to a few of them in the in the hallway that. They feel like unfinished business, you right. know. That and uh, it, that's good. I, you know, I love seeing that. You right. know, that they, they realize, okay, the, this is this is big. Right. Now, you mentioned some of the teams that you had at the end of the year. How how well or what role do you think playing those teams, uh, especially you know, it's a team cross town rival like West Lawrence, uh, 
did, uh, what role it played in helping y'all get prepared? Well, our, our, I like the way our season is scheduled. Coach Sin did a fantastic job <laughs> of setting up our schedule this year. We, we finished region play before spring break, and spring break's a difficult thing during mm -hmm. soccer season, but you know, basketball and wrestling deal with Christmas, and so they don't feel sorry for us dealing yeah. one week. But um, we finished up region play before spring break, and then we came back, and on Thursday after spring break, we played Screven County. And Screven's been in our region, a good soccer team, and I told the girls, and I actually told the Screven coach, we're treating this like the second round of the playoffs. And we came out focused. Uh, we jumped on them early, and you know that's what that's mm -hmm. what we got to do if we're fortunate enough to get to next week. And then I said, you know, the next Tuesday we come around and play West Lawrence, probably a good double A quarterfinal game. And you know, we didn't come out and play fast. Fell behind 2-0, but again, something that these girls have done for three to four years is they never quit, they never gave up, battled back 2-2, and actually had several opportunities in mm -hmm. late in the game to win it. But, you know, they didn't quit. And that, and I, even though it was a tie and we've never beaten West Lawrence and the last three times we've played them, it's been a tie, they, they didn't quit. And I, I'm probably more proud of them for that than anything because, you know, I know people don't understand this, but in sports and life are very similar. And, there's things in life that are going to go wrong. Things in mm. life are not going to go your way. And you got to keep battling, got to keep competing, just like on the sports field. Not a, you're not always going to get the call from the officials. You're not always right. going to get things go exactly your way. But you got to flush it. Not always going to get the promotion you want. That's you know? right. <laughs> you know, That's it's, right. Yeah. So I feel like if they'll take that type of mm. attitude in life, they're going to be successful in whatever they do. Some of them might be stay-at-home moms, you know, be successful in that. Some of them might go to college, some of them might go to work right out. You know, whatever they're going to be, if they'll take that attitude that mm -hmm. I'm going to work hard, I'm going to bow my neck and compete, they're going to be all right, and they're going to be successful in life. And I like winning soccer games, but I like to see girls to go on and be successful in life, mm -hmm. just like in football. I want the guys, yes, I'd like to win more football games, but I want them to be successful in life and do the right things. Mm -hmm. Now, next Tuesday, you got a big day for one of your soccer players. Uh, I believe it's 9.30 Tuesday. Nine, Monday. 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 Okay, Monday. I, for some reason, I had Tuesday on the break. Okay, so... Don't say Tuesday. I'll get confused. And I'll, <laughs> I'll be the only one here Tuesday. <laughs> but Monday, 9.30, 9 uh, Caitlin Jones will be uh, signing her LOI with uh, Bruton Parker, right? Right. You know, the neat story about Caitlin, sweet girl. That's mm -hmm. first. Great kid, does everything yes. But she was in my weightlifting class my sophomore year. I thought, long arm, lanky girl. She'd be a good goalie. Caitlin, we gonna come out for soccer? Sure. Comes out there, doesn't have no clue. And she knows a little less than I do because I don't know much more. <laughs> and she worked, played JV for two years. Then the girl that had been goalie mm -hmm. for years moved yeah. away or graduated. She stepped in and has very sweet, timid girl has become more aggressive mm -hmm. and got better and better every time. And I think, you know, that's one story for Caitlin that always stands out. Another one is I make them flip tires 100 yards if they miss practice. So one day we're out there and she's flipping tires. Caitlin, you had not missed. I just want to get better. And as a coach, that meant more to mm -hmm. me than it, anything. It just about anything, yeah, right. So, we're excited for her. We're excited for Bruton Parker. She, they get a good soccer player, but they get a great good person. person. Yeah. And, uh, you know, excited to see what she does. And she's going she's gonna to show up. She's going to work hard. And she's going to do what the, she, they ask her to do. You don't have to worry about her academically. She's going to take mm -hmm. care of business on her own. And she's a good model example that, you know, East Lawrence, you know, can need, has a lot around. Right. Well, folks, uh, you know, hopefully make it through this round. Keep in mind next week, hopefully, uh, we'll be battling either Callaway or uh, Rockmart in the second round of the state playoffs. Why did we design a lawn tractor that delivers strength, comfort, and the industry's leading warranty? Why did we make our machines to be as versatile as possible? Because the reason you do all of this is so you can do more of this.
This is Strongsville, where lawns come to life. Experience Cub Cadet Strong with the XT Enduro Series. Find the right model in your nearest retailer at cubcadet.com. So come see Glenn Register or any of his friendly staff today at Hometown Supply. Call 272-0345. Do you love lighting up a child's eyes, helping people feel safe, or changing the way someone feels about themselves? Oconee Fall Line Technical College offers programs that can turn your passion into a career in two years or less. With flexible class scheduling, financial aid and grants in a caring environment, there's no reason you can't do what you love every day. Get ready. Your career starts here at OFTC. Everybody loves mom, and now is your chance to let mom know just how much you appreciate her by entering her in the TV35 Mom and Me Selfie Contest. All you have to do is like the TV35's Facebook page and add your Mom and Me Selfie for your chance to win mom great prizes including dinner for four at Dino's, a $100 surprise gift box from The Exchange, a set of beautiful hanging baskets from Highway 80 Roadside Market, an award-winning cake complete with your Mom and Me selfie from Williamson's Bakery, and much, much more. Winners will be drawn May 8th, so like the TV35 Facebook page, add your Mom and Me selfie, and show Mom just how much you love and appreciate her. Happy Mother's Day from all of us at TV35. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. As you can see, we've changed gears just a little bit. We're now here with Coach Jonathan Sin of the East Lawrence High School hey, boys soccer team. And uh, get the pleasure of hosting a uh, state playoff game. Uh, Indeed, this is, a, this is the second time that I've been coaching that we've had the opportunity to host. And uh, so that's a, that was one of the goals that the guys had actually set at the beginning of the year. So. Mm -hmm. That was good to see them reach that goal and to make that come about. Uh, now, why, why don't you give the folks a rundown of who you'll be playing, and uh, then we'll we'll go from there. Well, we'll be playing uh, Thomasville. Uh, there, <clears throat> and this is a team you, you've got right. a history with. We've we have we've met them many many times in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, most of the time, it's there. So uh, this will be the first time that we've actually played them at our place. So that'll be interesting. Um, you know, we're we're coming off of a, of a three-game, you know, region three-game win streak. Uh, we tried some things at West Lawrence, and uh, they're actually coming off of a a losing streak against uh, Berrien County. So maybe that'll that'll mm. play a little bit in our favor there. Yeah. Now. Uh you know, well, in, in the past, what what's one of the things that you know you're going to be facing with this, this Thomasville Bulldog uh, oh. team? Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, they're in a they're in a phenomenal region. Mm -hmm. uh, region region one this year is, has produced, I think, two teams in the top five. Uh, them and Fitzgerald mm -hmm. are both have both been in the top five most of the year. Uh, Barron County actually crep up in there as well. So three of the four teams mm -hmm. out of there. Are you know in the top ten and have been in the top ten since the beginning of the season. So we expect a lot of good soccer. Um, I know the fast. Uh, they've got a forward that has phenomenal foot skills. We've actually watched film on him. Uh, so he's he's going to be interesting to to battle. And uh, you know they're well coached. I've mm -hmm. I've coached like I said. We've gosh I know we've played them three times. Since I've been coach, and uh, you know their coach, it's been the same, just like me. He's been there, he's been there a while, and uh, he always has a great team. No matter you know, no matter who he loses, or what mm. have you, he always seems to have a very good team. So it's going to definitely be a battle. It'll be a challenge for us. Now, uh, you know, should things go the way we want them to on Wednesday next week, what what? Uh, is in, in store? Do you have an idea of who you might be <laughs> up against next week? I actually do not know. We're we are really taking it one game at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're we're focused and and just solidly committed to this this one game Wednesday. You know, um, we'll have you know an entire week to get ready for the next one, and so we'll we'll do our due diligence after that. 
But uh, right now I want the guys really focused in on what they need to do to get better to, to beat Thomasville. I mean, that's, that's one of the mm -hmm. reasons that, you know, we scheduled West Lawrence late. Yeah. And I think uh, Coach Robinson alluded to yeah, that's, that's always one thing a, I wanted to get into. You exactly, know, with, yeah. the way the scheduling worked out, it could be one of those things that's in your benefit. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I never like to play them late because everybody's in top form. Uh, I always like to play them a little early, kind of get the, get the nerves out of the way, you know, for some reason. And I know it's because it's crosstown rivalry. Uh, our guys get up for the game, and they, they play harder for, for Dublin or West Lawrence than they do anybody else. Um, but, you know, with it being at the end of the season, it was a good chance to, you know, to meet some quality opponents and to be able to handle, you know, see if you can handle what's going on. Uh, for us, it was a, a chance to, you know, we kind of, we played it straight up for a little bit at the West Lawrence game, and then we, we switched it up just in case, you know, we had, we had players get hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we moved some players around. So that game actually was really good at giving us some critical information at this time of the year so who can do what if we need to call upon them. And uh, that's, that actually was, was very, real fortuitous of us because mm -hmm. we've, got a, we've got a couple of players that are going to be out due to injury. So like I said, this is going to be, Wednesday is going to be a battle and we're going to see, we're going to see how well we do. Okay. Now, uh, you know, the players that you have uh, and uh, players that, you know, are going to be leaving at the end of the year. Uh, what about you know seniors? Well, right now we have we have three seniors. Mm -hmm. um, we have Eduardo Lopez. Mm -hmm. This was his first year. He came out. Um, he's been a rotational player at wing. And he's done a good, he's done a good job. He's he's uh, he does everything you ask him to do. And uh, so we'll we'll definitely miss that. He mm -hmm. he never stops. He's like the Energizer Bunny. You, he'll run for. 180 minutes if you ask him to. Um, so, so we'll definitely miss that part. Uh, Zashan Holloman, mm -hmm. you know, he he started last year his junior year, and and he got injured and had to had to set out the rest of that year. Uh, this year he started with us, um, did really well, got got nicked up a little bit, missed a couple of games, but has come back and uh, you know he does a phenomenal job. The speed that he has mm -hmm. and the size he has works really well on that back line. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's kept us in a lot of games, uh, especially on the on the strong side over there. And so we'll definitely miss that. That'll be something we have to look into, see if we can't get some of those ninth graders to step in and fill that spot. And then, you know, with our with our defensive ends that we play, uh, Austin Padgett, mm -hmm. that's, that's been a, you know, that's been a solid position for him. He's played it. He's played it for several years, and he's he's good at it, and he has great instincts at that mm -hmm. position. So that's going to be interesting to see who we put alongside Daryl Smith. You know, this this was kind of it was kind of nice to have Austin there to kind of teach Daryl how to play the position, and now Daryl's had a year at it. Now he's going to have to try to help someone uh, carry on where Pageant leaves out. Right. So definitely going to have some talent that's, and, that's you lost. And a solid kid too, Austin. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, oh, always. Yeah, he, he's a lot quieter than his sister. I had to get a <laughs> dig in there at, at Brittany there and get a chance. Now, uh, so uh, looking at uh, Thomasville. Right. Wednesday. And, of course, this will air afterwards. Hopefully next week we'll have some good news uh, of the uh, the games from this week. All right. uh, hopefully good good news in store uh, for East Lawrence Falcons. Uh, keep in mind folks, uh, track season uh, sectionals are taking place this coming weekend on Saturday uh, and hopefully we'll have people advance in the state. Uh, baseball uh, travels to Thomasville this Friday to, to face the Bulldogs in, uh, down in Thomas County. If you get a chance, uh, I know it's a long trip down there, uh, but uh, if you get a chance, uh, go down and support them. Uh, and uh, as always, go Falcons.